Hello, everybody. We invite you to watch the Wake Up Miami Morning Show, affectionately known as the Rum Show, with your host, Andre So. And I'm Lanise Rochelle. Make sure that you are tuning in every weekday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you'll catch the hottest morning show in America. Yeah, we're going to say that. Right. The hottest, hottest morning show in America. I said it. What? America. What? I did it. Only in America. Listen, that you, part. you can catch some positive affirmations. Positive affirmations. National days. National days. News shenanigans. News shenanigans. Dance Local, national, the what? whole nine, and the dance off. So don't miss the show. Yeah, don't miss it. Want to drink? Drink on that. Don't drink on that. That's what it is. So. <laughs> That's how we feel. So you make sure that you tune in. That's how we feel. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the Miami Morning Show. You watching the you watch you watch. You watching the Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 the wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. You watching the wake up, 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 wake up. Miami Morning Show. Kinda told me about this already, but I did. What did you I did. tell you? You told me about the swirls and how you like doing the swirls, oh. and that it was oh god, it represents three different strengths and strengths: strength, strength uh, courage, courage, and grace. And grace, or it could be strength, courage, and grace. It can go in either direction. Yeah, right? yeah, you know and stuff. You know, and I want to do it again. But oh yes, and this was uh, supposed to be a commission work that. They kind of dropped, fell through. Yeah. And so you had a rendering of it, and you decided to paint it on a canvas. How do you remember all of that? You Because know? it's you. Yeah, it is. If it know. wasn't you, mm -hmm. I wouldn't remember. So which image is your favorite? Out of the three, uh -huh. this one. Really? I think that This one. is mine right here. You like that one? My favorite color. OK. You Blue know. is my favorite color, too. Yeah. I'm surprised I picked that. But the I know why I picked that. Yeah. Yes. 
And, and you know what else I like? What? I like the lips. Yeah. You know. At first I thought it was Alfreda Musa. Oh, okay. And I, okay. Alfreda was like, no, that's actually Wanda's baby. She likes this too. Yeah, but she likes it uh -huh, too. Uh-huh, yeah. right. So, I've sold prints of this, okay, quite a few times. Right. I think I might end up letting it go, so I'll be forced to do another. Another one. Yeah. Wanda, yeah. tell our viewers why this event was so important for black women in our community, artists, black women in our community. Because we are little known, totally unrepresented, not recognized by mainstream galleries and museums, and for 400 plus years, we've been trying to knock on that door, but the door never opens. It's like a little crack, you know, happens. And I'm not complaining. The one or two of us, first a male, and if there's too many males getting through, well then we just get kicked out. Right. Okay, but I'm not complaining. What I want to do is teach our community how to embrace us. Okay, how to, how to recognize us and support us, you know. Because, the, and we have to take charge and control of our art exhibits, our venues, like I say, you know, when you guys leave here, our names should be on your minds. You know, Aptiva, Elfrina, Joanne, Winsome, Wanda. Yes. Okay? Those names you should remember because there's so many more of us. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we can, we can all prosper. Right? Our voice is our art. And we have so much that we want to say to all of you, to our community. I want to thank every sponsor that uh, made all of this happen, made this work. I, I appreciate, um, you know, the, the use of the space, the financial contributions, the uh, support. And, um, and I thank uh, Adonis Parker for allowing me to do this. So, tell us your name. My name is Aptiva Ferguson. Aptiva Ferguson. Where are you from, Aptiva? I'm from Miami, Florida. Okay, that's what it is. So you are one of the artists being featured here at Art Forever Unsilenced. Yes. Tell us, what is this moment for you? How do you feel about this? I'm extremely nervous, uh, excited, you know, um, it's my first show. Okay, and, it's your first show. Yeah, it's my first show. Um, but it's, 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 it's a beautiful moment for me. That's good, that's good because you are an aspiring artist and part of this installment is to really honor female artists and black women artists that are of our community, from our community, and displaying their talents and creativity. Right. So, um, this is your piece here. Yes. I like this. Thank you. Tell us what's the inspiration behind so it. So the inspiration behind this is actually my, my grandma. This is a younger version of her. Okay. Um, she actually passed away uh, August 25th during the preparation for the show. So oh, I decided wow. to kind of change my um, third piece and dedicate it to her. Um, so my series is about uh, the relationship between a black woman and Earth. Right. And this is actually a scene that I was at uh, in Arizona called the Devil's Bridge. Right. And I put her in front of it. Um, and it's called, it's called the creator of all things. Oh, wow. So I wanted to make it seem like she's a part of, you know, nature and she has the halo, you know, above her head to kind of bring her completely in. That's dope, because at first it appears to be a hat, but thanks for that clarity. Yeah. That's dope, though. Yeah. I like this piece. What's next for Aptiva Ferguson? Tell me. Um, what's next is me just continuing to support my business. I have a business called All Around Girl LLC, okay. where I do a, um, art on press on nails. So, so you do art that. press on nails, commission work, yes, right? acrylic paintings. Okay, all right. So y'all make sure y'all follow any um, Instagram or social media. Um, my Instagram is All Around Girl LLC. Mm -hmm. That's my um, business page for my press on nails, and then uh, there's my art Instagram, which is underscore QT Art with three E's. QT Art with three what? With three E's. Boy, she got to be like 25 or something. I promise you. I'll put money on it. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for thank interviewing you. with us. Any last words you want to tell the people? Uh, thank you for supporting me. That's it.
y'all make sure y'all support. All right, still here at Unsilenced Art Forever, and I'm with another artist by the name of Joanna Hampstead. Joanne or Joanna? Joanne. Just Joanne, Joanne Hampstead. And tell us about this event for you, what it means. Um, I think it's a wonderful event. Having all these black women together, beautiful art, diverse art, being represented, the energy in the room. I loved it. I would do it again, over and over again. Um, they should do this in every city. They should do it. They need it. We need it. They should. If you would tell anyone about this event that did not attend, what would you tell them they missed? You missed out. You missed out big time. Yeah. I think yeah. you need to be here to celebrate us, to promote us, to yeah. enjoy our art, to buy our art, um, appreciate art, let us educate you. Um, you need this stuff on your wall. Um, these women are amazing. Um, I really love being amongst them. I felt honored to be selected. Um, what more can I say? I can say something. What can you say? You're amazing. Oh, and your art you. is amazing. How can someone find you so they can follow you? So At Zan, X-A-N, Art Gallery. Find me there. Message me. Any closing remarks for the lead? Um, what's the closing remarks? Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, Adonis. You did a great job. Let's do it again. at the Unsilenced Art Forever event. Alfreda Musa, what's going on? What's going on? You tell me. You, you tell are me. featured. You are the woman of the hour. We are here with your one and only art minister, Alfreda Musa. There it Musa. is. <laughs> right. So this event for you, what does it mean? Because this is big, right? Most definitely. I Usually you don't see a lot of female artists come together in one area and this, that's why it's so important for me. This is why I'm rooting for it. If you see the little, you know, voluptuous melanin lady in the room, when you see that piece, if you see that piece, you'll definitely see how she has her hand up. I'm all for the ladies, yes. All for the ladies. <laughs> all for the ladies. That's what it is. Tell us about this piece we stand in front of. This is, and, and what I want to say is I've known you for years and I do want to say this. You are shifting as an artist and becoming even more doper than what you were. Yeah, this is dope. Tell us about this. So with this piece, I called it Rose of Sharon because actually my mother name is Sharon. So I said Rose of Sharon and the, you know, the flowers gives you rose. Right. So with our melanin beauty and automatically beauty, butterfly, what do we relate to? Butterflies, right. I had to put that in there. Right. But it was right. a whole process. I made sure I use our dark browns, our caramels. You also have a little bronze in there. Right. And everything had to go with the, I'm gonna go with the flow girl. So that's what happened right. on this one. Right. <laughs> Piece. So it's encompassing all our colors in the piece with the colors. Everything and the process. You can tell the process. It speaks for itself. You have some butterflies that, when you talk about butterflies, right. it's a process. Right. They go from the caliper right. to the cocoon boom. to the boom bang. To the boom, bang. To the boom bang to the what? Butterflies. Sisters <laughs> over misters. <laughs> So you see that process going on in this piece too. So I hope it's speaking to you without words. It's um, giving you black, beautiful women. That's it. Tell us your Instagram and social media tags so people can follow you. You can follow me on alfrinamusa.org. Also on everything, you can do that. And also to my other name, which is the one and only, the art minister. <laughs> That's what she is. Any last words you want to say before we leave? Let the palm of your hand be the inspiration to your masterpiece. Yep. <laughs> this one here. That's what happens when you know people forever.
Winston Bolt. I'm a curator, interior designer, and an art instructor for kids and older adults. And, and do more. Come on. <laughs> spill it. Spill the beans. And with doing all of that, I um, I decorate homes all over with my artwork and others, other artists as well. And I love to, um, to interpret my feelings through my art. In what I, do. So, yeah. I think that you are very, very worthy to be a part of this Unsilenced Art Forever event. Thank you. It is, in my opinion, about time. It's about time, yes. It's about time, in my it's been opinion. It's many years. It's been Oscar many Thomas years. Um, um, right. shows. I haven't done right. anything in this, right. at this caliber. And you've been cultivating the art community, period. Male, female, doesn't matter, black, white. You've been cultivating art, period, yeah, for years. Yeah, I started, um, like, the early 90s and that's where I met Adonis and I used to do art in my home right. and bring the artists in and turn my home into a gallery right. so this is where I know my my art peaks and right. um, we all kind of um, went our separate way artistically but here we are coming back together so it's great. Tell me about this piece here that we stand in front of. So this piece I do a lot of things with children and this piece represents what I think Miami um, um, it should or would be all about. It's a merging of color, it's a merging of controversy, it's a merge of, of uh, different ethnicity, ethnicity. Right. and along with that I wanted to show this young lady representing the shadow of all of us. This is a beautiful piece. Any parting words? They got the music popping now. Any parting words before we leave and how somebody can find you on social media? So I, you can find me under um, Block One Art Walls, right. um, uh, Winston Bolt uh, Facebook right now. And my parting words is have, make creativity the best that it can be for you. It's all about creative, creativity in your life. Y'all heard it. That's what it is. DRT Behavioral Services, we provide culturally sensitive mental health evaluations with thorough treatment plans, incorporating alternative forms of wellness, not just Western traditional medicine. Besides medication management and psychotherapy, we provide education to people in the areas of minority mental health with classes on your diet's impact on mood and sleep hygiene for better rest. We also offer weight loss therapy, massages, and facials. Visit BrainLoveHelp.com today. Hello, my name is Lanice Coakley, licensed realtor in beautiful South Florida. I started as a real estate investor in 2001 when the business of buy, fix and sell was really booming. 
That sparked my interest in real estate law and property management, but it wasn't until 2016 when I decided to become a licensed realtor. My desire to become a realtor stems from the passion that I have to help people realize their own dreams of freedom through home ownership. From guiding first-time home buyers to veterans to managing landlord portfolios and working closely with sellers, I am dedicated to helping anyone looking for residential or commercial property. I can be contacted by phone or text at 305-925-0958 or visit my website, realtorlanice.com. And referrals are always welcome. The pulse, it quickens. Sensations ignite. Cool water, hot spice, fast tempo. New cultures, new flavors, new you. You, undersea explorer. You, street artist. You, fearless adventurer. Salsa dancing to Latin beats. Exploring history and heritage. Flying across a wild river of grass. Sense of time, it's lost. Sense of place, it takes over. But not any place, this place. Here, now, wow. Not the Miami you expected, but the Miami you found. Start your discovery now. I'm Jasmine Samuel. I'm a visual artist, and I draw with my eyes. I was born with cerebral palsy. I'm on a different kind of journey and you won't understand unless you look through my eyes. People think I don't understand or know what's going on, but I do. Just because I can't walk or speak from my mouth doesn't mean I don't hear, see, or understand. When I see you, I smile because I don't want you feeling sorry for me or sad because I'm in this wheelchair. I smile because I can still love, and feel love, from those who aren't afraid to give it back to me. I like to have fun and make people laugh. I want the things any 24 year old would want, like playing basketball. I want to travel the world, get married, and have children one day. Yes. It bothers me when I don't get invited to some things, or when my friends become distant, but when I am invited, I see it as an opportunity. I want to show people that I am a person just like them and I have gifts and talents that I can contribute to my community. God allowed me to live through that traumatic birth so I can be a voice for those who can't speak. I'm spreading the word, that God created us all to love and have faith. We have to believe and have faith that we can do all things He created us to do. We must focus on our abilities, and not our disabilities. I have faith that I'm going to do all the things I dream to do. She's doing it, nobody's doing it. Jasmine, I can't believe it. I need you to see what I see. I see myself talking, walking, running on the beach, and being an actor, one day. So don't feel sorry for me, or anyone else with a disability, but let's encourage and help each other to be everything we were made to be. 
This is Andre So, Wake Up Miami Morning Show on the scene, iUrban TV on the scene. We are here at Roberto Clemente Park, where there has been a renaming. It has changed from Dorothy Quintana Community Center to Roberto Clemente Park, Dorothy Quintana Community Center. And we are right here in the heart of our community, right in Wynwood, the original Wynwood. This is where it all started at, and this is where most of our Boricua community resided. And so we just here making sure that we support our community, let you know what's going on, let you see exactly how this community is changing and what our commissioner is doing in this district. So yeah, make sure you follow us. Stay Stay tuned to the Wake Up Miami Morning Show. Stay tuned to iUrban TV. We are the premier number one media source for urban entertainment and urban and community development. You heard it. Andre Soul said it. And we'll be right back with some more stuff. Y'all just stick around. As you know, she is our commissioner. We love her to death. So tell us, what, what took place here today? Today is the kickoff of Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes. And in honor of Hispa Hispanic Heritage Month, we are celebrating Roberto Clemente by putting his name on this park. It is now officially the Roberto Clemente Park and Dorothy Quintana Community Center. Roberto Clemente was an amazing baseball player. Yes, he he paid for the Pirates. He was yes, number he 21. Yep. He broke several records. He was also a humanitarian. He gave back to his country. He was Puerto Rican descent, but he gave back to everyone. And it was is as important for him to be a world-class baseball player as it was for him to give back. Sadly, he lost his life tragically on a mission to Nicaragua yeah. to give supplies because of an earthquake. Yeah. He, was, he was killed in a plane crash, but he taught us, his legacy has taught us that no matter who we are, what we do in this life, we must give back to our brothers and sisters. Period. And that is what I'm about, and that is why I'm so honored to be here to recognize the life and legacy of Roberto Clemente and that generations to come will know what his legacy was and what he meant to this community. Period. Me and Lily, me and Lily, me and you, Lily, always. Always. I told you, right? Even when I'm not there, if I feel better, I'm in the building, right? Did I tell you that? Always. I told you. So what's going on here right now? We, we see some things is changing. Tell yes. us what's going on. Uh, Roberto Clemente, the beauty of Puerto Rico is that we are colorless. Mm -hmm. We don't have color. We, right. are, we are black, right. we are white, whatever. We, we are Puerto Rican. Yeah. Roberto Clemente is the beauty of the legacy of Roberto Clemente. It goes beyond that. He was a black Puerto Rican, black African-American because Puerto Rican are American. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so the beauty and the legacy of Roberto Clemente is something that we carry very hard, deep in, mm -hmm. in our heart. Mm -hmm. The job that you see me doing in everywhere is because of Roberto Clemente. Right. Um, today, if you look at my bank account, I only have $10. <laughs> $10. But it's the honor of my life to tell you that I have $10. Right because I give everything to the community. And I don't do it to be famous, I do it from my heart. You do it for the love. For the love. For the love of the people. And that's something that I learned from Roberto Clemente and other many um, Puerto Ricans, um, like Solisorina Ferrer, who was a rich Puerto Rican. 
rich, and the, the, her brother was the governor of Puerto Rico for many years. Oh. She decided to stay with the poor. Right. She never wanted nothing for her brother, for her family. Right. And she was called the, the sister in Selena. Right. I carry that in my heart. That's beautiful. And because of that, I go to Old Town, I go to Liberty City, City, oh, Liberty City to help my people. That's right. Because it's not about money. It's about oh, heart. Shit. And when you when you from the from the hood, from, from the, the ghetto, hood. we don't have money. Where we from? From the hood. From the what? From the, the hood. hood. From the hood. El barrio. El, El barrio. barrio. El barrio. And we bring that That's right. to us. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's yes. go inside. Okay, so we're back on the scene. We are here at Roberto Clemente Park, Dorothy Quintana Community Center, which has recently been renamed by our district commissioner. Uh, I'm standing here with a gentleman. Um, Lily introduced you as Luis. Tell me, uh, yeah. I think you're, you're a part of this park and what you do. So tell me, Mr. Lewis, what is it that you do here? Well, I pretty much volunteer. You know, okay. I don't get paid for anything that I do here. That's, I have to make that as a disclaimer. Right, right. And the other issue is that I've been working, this building came about because back in when Manny Diaz was mayor, right. uh, there was a bond issue and we fought for a new building and I was on that board and I kept the name alive, Roberto Clemente, uh, and, uh, and I hope that we get a new building. And eventually we got a new building, thank God. Uh, and so I pretty much, you know, uh, for a very long time, just did volunteer work, try to move the needle forward to help, you know, the park help itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and and I work with the uh, Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce, yeah. uh, small business, you know, program, you right. know, grants and stuff like that. And we try to get them to help themselves and across the board. You know, this is not about Puerto Ricans only. It's, you know, we all live here. Right. And it's and about all, the community. It's about us. Yes. You know, we're all children of God. Right. And I believe that. And so I, um, you know, I've been doing this for a while, and I'm very proud that the commissioner, uh, chairwoman, excuse me, right, Christine right. King. Right. Yeah, you better watch yourself. Yeah, I gotta watch myself. Chairwoman. Chairwoman Christine, right. King Christine King, Christine King yes. came forward and helped put the funds for uh, the name to make sure the building is named at uh, the Roberto Clemente. And Dorothy Quintana, who passed away at 101, wow. she was a community activist, born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, lived here for about seven, 80 years, whatever. Right. And, uh, and she helped build a lot of houses in this area, homes and sold them at affordable, house, affordable prices to the local community, 140,000, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's unheard of, you know, when right. people hear that, they say, oh my God, it's a gift. Right. And those houses now are going for like 500, 600,000, which is crazy, you know. Sense, yeah. I don't know how working folks and working class uh, families can afford that, but you know, that is the, the American way. So I'm really proud and very happy that the, the chairwoman came today and you know said this is our time right. and you know our, our message moving forward about the Roberto Clemente mm -hmm. is do is you do well by doing good right. and you know giving is 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 just as well it's just as important as, as receiving so that's what we do here you know we, you know we don't answer all the questions we don't solve all the problems right. you know one day at a time brother that's how it time. works that's man it. that's you know, the only way you can do that's it that's the only way you can do it this community has has undergone a lot of changes even from yeah. with it being winwood and then it changing over to a winwood that we know it now right what's slated for this part because since all the development and all of the big wigs are going into winwood now right, right? they're all here they're not they're going all here. They're right they're all here <laughs> right I, I stand correct they are here what are they going to do or what's going to, because now everything is moving west, the development or the consideration for redevelopment is coming west. What is in store for this facility in this park coming up? Is there anything? No, right now, you know, our hope is down the road when we're talking about the basketball court. Right. Uh, there was a brother who was the uh, parks director many years ago who talked about building a building around the basketball court. It's too hot in the summertime. Right. A fine month for the kids to play and get an air conditioning basketball court. I'm from New York City, so I grew up in New York. Okay. I'm a New York Rican. Okay, know, I just came I'm, from New York. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm very proud of that because we, we, we work, yeah, we've done a lot in New York, you know. <laughs> um, and and we're, the, we're good for Puerto Rico. Right, we're here. Right, right. We we're vote. Really, you know? Yes. Yes. So uh, and so that's one of the projects that we're looking at. We're looking at creating a, a 
it's a uh, a statue in the right. name of Roberto Clemente. I think that'll be hot. Very, think, very yeah, great. Yeah, I think we're gonna make sure and we got some some lineup sponsors for that work. God willing it comes through. Yeah. And you know, this is for the community. Uh, regardless of what happens, you know, there's a, you know, even in the Bronx where I grew up, you know, it's, there's been changes. Like the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Man, Joe, lean back. Yeah, you know what lean I mean. Lean back. That's it. <laughs> That's what it is. And uh, and we and even there, you know, the, the place has changed and people are moving forward right, and the Bronx has changed. And it is. That's the way it is. You right. know, that's, that's the way America is. Especially folks who got money, right. they wait for the community to go down. This right. is how they get the uh, uh, they get the best deal. And come and by, buy it up. But not investing in the community right. and let the community go down, the services go down, right. and then they come in, they buy you buy out, out and they chase you out. Yeah. And you got to go to the suburbs and you got to pay. You know, for two hour ride and coming to work and all that stuff. So Facts. it's gonna be hard for, for, for working people, but you know, it is part of America and, it's, and it, at the end of the day, we gotta vote. We gotta vote people like, like Christine King, right. like, you know, uh, uh, Keon Hardiman. Those are the people we gotta yeah. keep in office because they're friends of ours. Right. And they're not Puerto Rican, it's not, not even about that. They're elected officials, they're there to do a job. And it's, it's about not being cohesive yeah, man. as a community. We gotta come together. It's not perfect, you know, it's not gonna right. be perfect, but it, it is what it is. And, uh, and you know, with, and, and believing in God and doing good things, that's, uh, you know, you can sing. Mr. Lewis, it's a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, likewise, Hope to stay in touch with you. Yeah, man, I'll Definitely. give you my number. And just keep posted on what's going on here. And do, maybe we can do some events here. So. Yeah, yeah, well. I, mean, I see Bad Bunny in the picture right there. Maybe we can have well, Bad you know, Bunny come. We had, let me tell you what we did with Bad Bunny. So you see how old I am. We, we do, we raise money, we're raising money for the kids here, for the Roberto Clemente baseball team. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I go to the park at, uh, at the Marlins and I say, hey, you know, we're going to do this. What can you do? So, oh, I got you a Puerto Rican rapper. I'm like, Puerto Rican rapper? I'm thinking of Daddy Yankee, or something, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, Theo and all those guys. And he says, no, no, this guy named Bad Bunny. He's going to be here tomorrow and he's going to throw out the ball. I said, okay, that's Bad Bunny. So I just played it off and I said, okay, good idea. <laughs> I called my son, he's young. He's like, who's Bad Bunny? So, oh, that's the, that's the next bomb that's coming into right. the kid. Right. International. Right. This guy, International. And he's broken out. You know, yeah. you know, God bless him. I hope he makes the right decisions in his life to keep his fame going right. And he came and threw the ball. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Hey, I like you style like gasolina. Stop it like gasolina. Hey, so we here in the community talking okay. to Mr. Lewis, just seeing what's going on. We want to thank y'all yeah. for watching. Any last words you want to say? Yeah, you know, the, the number one word that I want to pass on to all is that please make sure you're registered to vote. This November is very, very important that we go out to vote as a community, right. regardless of where you're from, mm -hmm. regardless of your party affiliation. That doesn't matter. Right. You got to vote. You got to show power. And if you don't vote, then you can't complain. You can't complain. That's it. Um, my intern experience was great. I got to um, help people who needed um, help in the community. And just in general, like, we did food drives and giving out um, like hurricane supplies for the people who don't have the money or to buy supplies during that time. This was an amazing experience because she is a very good commissioner and she cares about her community very much. She's very passionate and she's like, she's a good leader. My intern experience is going well because I'm learning new things of how to help out the community. Yeah, that's it. If you see someone who needs help, you should try to help them and just don't like ignore it because that will better yourself and better the people that you're helping. Honestly, I learned to be very courteous and stay on my feet and pay very close attention to everything and everyone around me. And I learned about the different departments and stuff. And maybe one day I'll be like, Maybe one day I'll be into something like that. Maybe one day I'll be the commissioner. Period. I learned to help others in the community. Me. Commissioner, she loves, she loves, like she's very friendly. And like I said, she's passionate about her job and she does care about her community very much. And she goes out, out of her way and she try to make as much stuff possible as she can. She likes to give back to the community. 
what I found about the commissioner is that she's a kind woman, and she, and if like if there's a problem in the community, she will try her best to um, help the people. And overall, she's just a kind person. I learned that Commissioner Christine loves serving her community. Okay. That's her number one thing. I would tell someone about um, interning for Commissioner King is that you should take the opportunity to help the people that's in need. And it will be a great experience working with her. Um, she's a great person. Um, Overall, she, um, if you need anything, she will be there to help you. I will tell another intern to pay attention to everything that's going on around you so that you can learn and teach others. I will tell someone after me to be very consistent and be patient and just let the time, like, just take your time. Thank you, Commissioner Kenya. All the things you, um, you helped me um, learn while working here and I got to learn new things that I didn't know that was happening in the community. And I try my best to help. I'm working with you, with the people. I will tell Commissioner Christine that she's a nice person and I love what she do by helping out her community. Yeah. Commissioner King, I had a very good experience and I love you so much. And I thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs>
zero harmful pesticides, chemicals. We were able to grow over four tons of greens per year per container. That's an enormous amount of greens. The next question was where to put the farms? We put them in unused and unnoticed spaces. Hi, I'm Darius Namor and um, I'm a planting associate here in Hammer Greens. And what we do is we grow ha plants hydroponically. I'm very proud to be a part of this project. And what 